I'm often asked what it takes to be good at fundraising. Well, I've compiled a list of five things that are essential to be successful at development and fundraising. Grab a pen and paper and your laptop and stay tuned. Some years back, I met a man and his wife who started giving $50 a month for our organization. When they started giving, the man was a loan officer for a small bank and they barely had enough income to put food on the table. But this man was brilliant. Over time, he reviewed countless portfolios of promising companies who applied for small business loans with his bank. One day, he discovered a small company with great potential but was poorly run. He strongly felt that with the right management, this company could not only survive, but thrive. He and a friend made an offer to buy the company and their bid was accepted. After a decade, he took that company public and his portion of the company was worth tens of millions of dollars. I continued to track with this man and stayed close to he and his wife over the years. Whenever we had an opportunity for our nonprofit, I put that need before him. He initially started giving special gifts of 1000 then 10000 and over time, he was funneling hundreds of thousands of dollars to our organization each year. I think back on those days when he and his wife barely had enough to live, and now he has become one of the wealthiest men in the U.S. If I would have somehow not appreciated his giving when it was $50 a month, or not treated him kindly along the way, the outcome could have been different. Or even if some reason I had not continued to follow his career progress or not challenged him with larger and larger opportunities over the years, I doubt he would be giving today. It took patience, care, and understanding to enable this person to grow in his relationship with me, our organization, and that trust built over time bore much fruit. There are five qualities or characteristics that people in fundraising seem to possess that produce great success. Those five qualities are as follows. Quality number one, good listener. One of the most important success principles related to development fundraising is finding out what motivates and interests the current and prospective donor and see if those interests can be achieved through your organization. This can best be ascertained by asking good questions and truly hearing what the donor is saying. Being a good listener is essential for any person hoping to be a success in fundraising and those who have succeeded have honed their listening skills. For most people, being a good listener doesn't come naturally. As humans, we tend to love the sound of our own voice and often tune out what others are saying, looking for an opportunity to get in edgewise the next word or phrase. Just as journalists learn to focus as much on what is not being said as what is being said, we need to do the same. Understanding the true meaning of someone's words is important, but not just the words themselves, the content and perhaps reading between the lines. It is essential that we as nonprofit leaders learn to listen for the true message being conveyed. Quality number two, good communicator. Once you have used your listening skills to determine what motivates your current or prospective donor or understand what they hope to accomplish, then it's your turn to sum up what you heard and share how together they and your organization can achieve those desires. And that takes good communication skills, both oral and written skills. To enlist the financial support or partnership of a donor, you must communicate clearly and concisely the mission, vision, and values of your organization and the opportunities that exist for partnership and the results that can be achieved. Acquiring good communication skills takes time, and some people are naturally good at either written or verbal communication or vice versa, but not both. Communication classes can be taken to hone those skills and input and evaluation from gifted communicators is a must. Quality number three, tenacity and persistence. Since success in development and fundraising includes countless hours spent researching all aspects of current or prospective donors, making countless attempts to get an appointment and dealing with endless rejections, tenacity and persistence is essential. Finding the ability to dig deep and never give up is without question a critical ingredient. Oftentimes it will take asking three, five, or even 10 or more people to get the first person to give a gift to your project or program. That means finding the strength physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually 
to press on no matter how great the obstacle those successful in development don't seem to have the wiring to give up they continue to press on when others would surrender there is an attitude of glass half full or even eternal optimism that exists in these people and that helps them try repeatedly even when all hope seems to be lost in other words they continue to knock until someone answers negative self-talk can destroy any nonprofit leader trying to succeed in development and this can't exist if you hope to achieve significant levels of greatness in fundraising quality number four creativity and flexibility anytime you're working with individuals who have their own personal thoughts desires and feelings you need to be not only flexible in your actions but you also need to be creative you need to set aside any personal agenda and jettison rigidness if you hope to establish a deep relationship with a donor. You may come in a meeting with a desired outcome of presenting a project or program that needs funding, but be willing to set that plan aside should the agenda of the donor change or you sense a stronger desire by the donor to go another direction. You need to be flexible enough to shift your plan or appeal to something that a donor might be more passionate about and creative enough to find a happy medium or compromise that allows for a win-win. A donor will give to something they're passionate about and you will get your program or project or portions of that funded. Quality number five, good sense of humor. Don't take yourself too seriously. I understand that your cause is important to you to your audience or to the people you serve but there will come a time in working with donors that everything goes wrong and you have to choose to either laugh or cry about the situation i found that laughter truly is as they say the best medicine sometimes humor is the only thing that's gotten me through a difficult situation and i found that when nothing is going right i may be taking myself too seriously i may be holding on too tightly to the success or failure of the program project or proposal and that I need to release that and realize that not everything depends on me. That could include releasing the results to God to handle. The world does not and will not revolve around me or you and sometimes I have a situation where a current or prospective donor is just not in sync with me and that they have no desire or interest in giving. A mistake would be to internalize their decision and think they're saying no to me when in reality they're saying no to the offer and a no now doesn't necessarily mean no later. That principle has helped me get through many a donor rejection. Bonus quality. Be a kook. Keeper of odd knowledge. I tend to be someone who knows a lot about some things, but mostly I know a little bit about a lot of things. I found this to be handy when meeting and interacting with donors. If I find someone grew up in a particular state, it helps that I visited all 50 states and can talk about something I saw in the state, making sure that I'm always positive. If someone is a sports fan, I know a little about every sport, including rugby, cricket, and any sport where a ball is used. If someone is into finance or real estate, I can discuss dis topics like that. Being a keeper of odd knowledge has helped me move from awkward situations to comfortable situations very quickly. There is no perfect gift mix that will lead to success in fundraising, but having worked with some individuals who are very successful, most of all or many of the qualities mentioned in this video. Don't be disappointed or discouraged if you currently only have one or two qualities mentioned. If you feel limited or perhaps in inadequate in any of these areas, as most can be taught or coached up. But please don't ever compare yourself with anyone else as that's never healthy. I had one young donor representative who worked for me in the 1990s who adored his mentor and never felt he would achieve the levels of success that the mentor achieved. I would often tell this young person, just be the best John Smith you can be. And sure enough, 20 plus years later, he has exceeded the success achieved by his mentor and he did it by highlighting and enhancing his own qualities and not the ones of his mentor and you should do the same there are definite qualities that lead to success and work to attain or fine-tune those qualities in yourself i hope you found this video helpful if you did hit the like button and add a comment below listing which concepts you like best or wanted to start first and if i missed anything valuable that you learned share that with me in the comments so that it can get help to our entire community and help us all be better
If you enjoyed what you heard, please hit the subscribe button and share this with your friends or colleagues. There's no cost to you, but the more subscribers that we have, the more this message gets out to others and the more we can all share in the wealth derived from our collective experience. Simply hit the big red subscribe button, click the all bell to be notified when the next video is released. If you want to find out what to do and say during a meeting with a donor, watch this video and raise more money than ever before and better our world. I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.